bring out the needle and thread because quilters of all ages, they're going to be taking part in the Metro Quilt Expo. It's a certified quilt show. You got to tell me a little more about what that means. I'm here with Virginia, and she's here to tell me all about it. But one really cool thing that you have there at the expo is that pandemic quilt. Is yep. that right? Yep. We have a pandemic quilt that about 20 people worked mm -hmm. on, and it's a quilter's response to the pandemic. So everyone made blocks that expressed how they were feeling that day. Mm -hmm. day, week, month, years. Yeah. And, we're all um, feeling a lot of different things. Uh, yeah, we're feeling <laughs> a lot of different things and the quilt shows that. And mm -hmm. so we put it together, our um, chairperson for that project put it together, quilted it, one of our members, and we're presenting it to Sanford Healthcare Workers tomorrow. Okay, awesome. Yeah, so it's not, we don't have it here with us today, but. But you have to go see yes. it. And it's at the uh, Hilton Garden Inn. Mm -hmm. Opens tomorrow at nine till six and Saturday nine to five. Well, some of the quilts that you can see are right here. So can you show us just a few and like what yeah. you were telling me before that there's different kind of quilts. There's art quilts, there's right. traditional quilts. And uh, I can uh, hold some. If yeah, you and that's just, uh, just to show the differences that you know, we're used to thinking of quilts as being on our beds, and right. we've got lots of those, and they're mm -hmm. gorgeous. But there's also art quilts and traditional quilts and funky quilts. Oh gosh, I love that. Oh man, you know, I I feel like quilts for me. We had this one quilt. It was from probably like over 100 years old, but it was something my great great grandmother made, mm -hmm. and it lasted. But of course, there you know, it definitely needed a little retouch with some of that. But I love how quilts, there's something that you can have in your family and just and pass passed down on through the generations. It, and they are so loved. I yes. mean, we have um, quilts in the show that incorporate embroidered pillowcases mm -hmm. that have worn out the pillowcase, but mm -hmm. the embroidery on the ends is still beautiful. So they've right. cut them out and incorporated them into quilt pieces. Oh, that's I beautiful. mean, it's just one of the special exhibits is the challenge this year mm -hmm. was to upcycle. Mm -hmm. So everything had to be start off as something else. Mm -hmm. Mine started off as a place, it started off life as a placemat. I love that. You know, <laughs> especially I feel like when you're given that challenge, just how much the creativity can really blossom is just like yeah. stuff like that. Yeah, and here, here's one. Um, Kim Stingham made this. She has oh. several pieces in the show. This is from a previous show. Okay. Um, this one, oh, it actually, I, I don't mind holding them no, up too. So this okay. one is made by Julie Richardson, um, and it is so beautiful. I don't know if the camera can get a close up of it, but there is little faces in here in the flowers, and then you have all the little diamonds here, and oh, so and beautiful. This yeah. will be in the silent auction. We wow. have a silent auction, mm -hmm. and we raise uh, money for different community organizations with our auction mm -hmm. and for educational programs for the guild. This one is one of probably 20 items that will be on the silent auction. Mm -hmm. We also have a basket raffle of quilting supplies and different themes. I love that. So you get a nice little gift for yourself, and you also get to give a great gift to the community, yeah, and which is great. Mother's Day is coming up, too. Mother's Day, you're right. We can't forget about our mothers. And then here, here's one. It's just a very pretty little quilt mm -hmm. of flowers. Oh, 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 there oh, goes the oh, stick. Yeah, That's okay. Go. I got it right here. Sorry. And then here we have a very funky little quilt made mm -hmm. by um, Karn. Yeah, and with this one, what's pretty nice is because you have the flowers here on the back, so it just kind of shows like two different sides of things. Yep. So and the back cool. mostly never gets shown. Yeah, no, that the back is absolutely beautiful. I, I love that. So when it comes to you, what are some of the vendors that there will be there at the event? Um, there's quilt vendors from Carrington, from Grand Forks, from um, Alexandria. I, I wow, mean, all people over the region. All people over. are traveling all over. Uh, plus, you know, of course, our local quilt shop quilt mm -hmm. shops and Rayvon and Blows so and back. And they'll have everything from machines mm -hmm. to fabric to needles and threads. I, I mean, it just is a place to come and drool. I absolutely That's love that. I do. Because you can get inspired by a quilt and then on top of that, if you have a need and you want to buy something, you can also get that there. I love yeah, that. Yeah. Oh, that there's so great. 200 quilts on display mm -hmm. and um, there's a youth category. We had our youngest quilter mm -hmm. was nine. Mm -hmm. made a quilt and the oldest I think that entered was 13. Wow. But it goes up to 16 and so we're really trying to get Who, younger youngest? people Do you involved. Have, what's the youngest? Nine. Nine. Oh. And, and we've had in other years younger children but it's they get into sewing, mm -hmm. they're so intense and they enjoy the process and 
with a few classes, a few techniques, anybody can learn to quilt. Well, absolutely. Okay, well, the event is going on this weekend. I hope you guys can come check it out. It's going to be Thursday, Saturday, and also, don't forget about Friday. Well, yeah, Friday and Saturday. Thursday, we're setting up today. Oh, okay. okay so. Yeah. All right, well, next up on the Today Show, we're going to be interviewing Tina and Kathleen about their experience with nursing during the pandemic.